Are you thinking about self-publishing your next book, but you have no idea how to get started? Hey, good news. I'm about to tell you how. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim here dispensing all kinds of advice, even though my voice <clears throat> a little raspy today. It is a, uh, you know, it's the summer here in Alabama. It's like 105 outside and there's all these uh, little things floating in the air, pollen and all kinds of ragweed and it just kind of settles in the throat. And uh, this is the result. So if I have to clear my throat, I'll try to hit the mute button. Uh, but please bear with me. I promise it'll be worth it. Today we are talking about self-publishing. And uh, oh, quickly, if you have questions about what we do on this program, do me a favor. You can drop them in the comments below. If I use your question on a program, you're going to get a free digital copy of one of my books. Also, if you like what I do here, click that subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up and uh, you will be notified anytime I release one of these. So, hey, today the question comes from Brenda. Brenda says, Tim, uh, I, uh, I have never published a book before. I am thinking about self-publishing. Is that a good idea or not? Well, Brenda, thank you for the question. And it's one that I get a lot because self-publishing uh, is the new way to bring your book to market quickly. But uh, before I answer your question, let me kind of uh, give you some, some pre-qualifying comments because self-publishing is a, a, it's an option. It's a great option, but it may not be the best option for you. Now, here's, here's how you tell. It comes down to what you hope to do with your book, Brenda, because uh, you can self-publish or you can attempt to traditionally publish, and I've got a whole another video on traditional publishing, so I'm not going to go in too deep. Uh, the The difference is between the two is if you go the traditional publishing route, typically you've got to try to get an agent, which is whew, uh, like pushing a boulder uphill uh, that rolls back over you. It's very hard to do. That agent then has to take you on as a client and hopefully sell your book to a publisher who uh, will handle the publishing and distribution. That's all well and good. Very few authors ever get an agent and ever traditionally publish, which is why, Brenda, good news for you, self-publishing is a great option. Self-publishing simply means you do it all yourself. You write the book, you edit the book, you get the book cover done, you do all of that stuff. Now, you may not handle all of those tasks yourself. I assume you're going to write the book, and I assume that you're going to at least give a first pass edit to the book. You may then pass that off to someone like me, a professional editor. Uh, but basically, self-publishing means you, you self-publish by managing or doing all the tasks yourself. All right? Uh, and again, let's just kind of start from the list. You're going to write the book. That's a gimme. You're going to do that whether you're self-publishing or traditional publishing. You are going to edit the book or have the book edited. You are going to hire someone. If you were going traditionally, they would typically give uh, assign an editor you to you, but you're going to have to find someone to do that. And, you know, I encourage everyone to edit the book yourself the first time, but then have a professional editor go through the book. It's worth the time. It's worth the money. It will make your book a thousand times better. Uh, and I can say that because I'm an editor and I know the effects that it does. Uh, you're going to have to look at things like getting your cover done. And again, the cover is one of the most vital pieces of this puzzle because that's how people initially notice your book. So you want to make sure that you you get a, a good cover design. Now, you can do that cheaply on a website like Fiverr, or you can go to a website like 99designs. Keep in mind, Brenda, you can spend anywhere from, you can do it yourself if you, if you have a graphics background, uh, but you could spend anywhere from five to 10 to hundreds to thousands of dollars getting a good cover for your book. But again, you've got to self-manage 
that process. Um, then when you get all that done, you have to make sure your book is formatted correctly. And let's say you're going to publish on Amazon, which is what most people do, uh, either uh, Amazon for digital and create space, which is Amazon's paperback um arm and we talk about that in another video so you've got to format the book for digital as well as paperback you have to upload that to the site you have to fill out the forms you have to upload your book cover you have to do all of that stuff yourself and then magically your book uh, will appear for sale on amazon now the real work starts brenda because you know what writing and doing all that crap that was the easy part the hard part is selling your book. You're going to have to market it. You're going to have to get on social media. You're going to have to get reviews. You're going to have to get, uh, you know, just you're, you're going to have to generate all of this attention. Writers will tell you, including this one, marketing is the most vital piece of the puzzle, but it's also the hardest to do. Great marketing outweighs great writing any day of the week. And that's really hard for me to say being a writer. You know, it does, I, I could write the greatest book on the planet. Hell, I have. And I didn't sell millions of books because I either didn't know how to market or I didn't put the effort into it or the dollars. Marketing can be really expensive. So keep that in mind if you're looking at self-publishing because there, therein lies the rub. And, you know, you've got to do not just all the, the writing and production, but then you've got to market You've got to handle the sales. You've got to handle the distribution. And, and by that, I simply mean you've got to make sure that the books are delivered by Amazon or CreateSpace. Um, but on the flip side, even if you went the traditional route, Brendan, now, now big publishers are basically glorified printers. They're not going to do much, if anything, to help you market the book. You're still going to have to do that. You know, they're going to print the book, they're going to get it into bookstores, and they're going to keep the majority of the profits. And there is the, the, the main benefit to self-publishing is, let's look at the, the pros. Okay, you maintain control over the entire process. And granted, Brenda, the process may be a pain in the ass, but you maintain control over that process. You're not going to have some publisher telling you that you need to rework your book or you need to rewrite your characters or this or that. You maintain full control. Uh, it's fast to market. You can literally have your book up and running and for sale in matter of minutes to hours. If you've got everything in place and you get it uploaded to Amazon, your book is probably going to show up within 24 hours. So the speed to market, in my opinion, is one of the, the best benefits of self-publishing. So you got your control, you got your speed to market, and you know you can make changes anytime. Let's say you publish your book on Amazon uh, this morning and you find a typo tonight. All you have to do is upload that new corrected copy and it is automatically for sale. That doesn't work with traditional publishing. I can't tell you how many books that I see come from publishers that are full of typos and grammatical errors. So uh, what are your options? Again, we mentioned Amazon. You can do Amazon KDP for digital. You can do CreateSpace for, for paperback. There's also Smashwords, which is another uh, publishing company. There's lots more, but Amazon really is the 800 pound gorilla. The majority of books sold online come from Amazon. So there you go, Brenda. That's what self-publishing is. That's everything it entails. Again, base, excuse me, the, the pollen. Uh, basically, it means you are self-publishing. You are self-managing all of the tasks. And most writers will tell you it's a pain in the butt, but at least it gets your work out there to market. And I know uh, successful self-publishers who would never go the traditional route. Oh, that's the big benefit I forgot to mention. When you self-publish, your royalties are much higher. You could earn 60 to 70% royalties by self-publishing yourself through Amazon. If you went through a traditional publisher, you might get pennies on the dollar. For example, my book, that I wrote, uh, gosh, almost 10 years ago, Angel, uh, not Angel, everything I know about business I learned from my mama. Uh, this was traditionally published. I had an agent. He sold the work to John Wiley, big New York City 
uh, publishing company. And I think uh, for every $24 book, I think I got like a dollar or two dollars. So that's the big benefit of self-publishing, Brenda. You get higher royalties, but again, it all comes down to your ability to market. So if you want to try the traditional route, get your books in bookstores all over the country uh, and give up all of that stuff, good luck to you. Again, your chances, your odds of that happening are slim to none. Uh, but if you want to pursue self-publishing, I encourage you to do so. Do a lot of research. Go to Amazon. They've got wonderful help files that explain the entire process to you. Keep in mind, again, the writing is a very small piece of this puzzle. There's the editing, the formatting, the book cover design, the uploading, et cetera, et cetera. So, Brenda, I'm exhausted just by talking about this because it is a lot of work, but it's also very rewarding when people start reading your books. So, Brenda, hopefully that was helpful because I asked uh, or used your question. I'm going to send you a digital copy of one of my books. And if you have a question or comment, do us a favor, drop it in below. And if I use that on this show, you're going to get a copy of one of my books as well. Also, don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the little bell icon to be notified every time I do this and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget, tell everyone you know about this channel because my whole purpose for doing this is to help you become a better writer. All right, get out there, go self-publish something. Go, Brenda. Go. Go.